Hi guys, this is Hung Van Gogh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I invite a beautiful Vanessa here. She lent me her canvas to create this makeup look for you. It's a makeup look for someone who want to play with color but still stay in the neutral tone. So we mix between some warm bright color but then we still maintain with some of the neutral color in there. So it does, it's more for growing up, not overly colorful. I hope you enjoy the makeup look. Give this channel always a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumb up and don't forget to follow Vanessa and my team on Instagram as well. Thank you. To start every makeup, I always prep the skincare first. Today for lip balm, I use from Laneige. This had many different flavor as well. For serum, eye cream, and moisturizer, I'm going to use from Sowa Shoe. This is also a beautiful Korean skincare brand. I always try to press the serum in the skin. You can rub them any way you want. It's just personal preference. I find that this works better for me. The product absorbs really well on the skin. Don't forget to have some on the neck, chest as well. For eye cream, I also use from Sawashu. It's renewing ginseng ice cream. Very gentle around the eye area. For face cream, I also use from Sewa Shoe, is Renewing Face Cream. Give your face a lot of love. Give a little massage to wake the skin up. First, I'm going to use a little bit of the color corrector. This one is from NARS. The shade is number one. It's the lighter shade. I'm using a little bit under the eye area here. And anywhere that I find a little redness. It's just that I find every time I use a color corrector, I don't have to use as much foundation and concealer. You know, the way we look is that the red color on the skin and we think that we may need to cover but sometimes little color corrector that's all you need to take away all those parts you can see around here you know the skin looks just flawless right after Vanessa has beautiful skin. I think every day, if she just put a little bit of this, she doesn't even need to use foundation and concealer. But I think the human eye, when we look with some of the redness around her nose, we automatically think that she has to wear foundation, but she doesn't need to. 
but today I'm going to use foundation concealer just because we're going to do more full face makeup you can see that the skin look pretty flawless for foundation and concealer I'm going to use from Shadow. this is the synchronized foundation and concealer this is absolutely beautiful foundation you definitely need to try them if you haven't before the foundation i use only one shade but the concealer i'm using two shades the shade of the concealer is almost identical to the foundation i'm using and this is just the lighter shade i'm used mainly under the eye area and some of the high point keep in mind that Vanessa's skin right now, you can see that she just got back from holiday. She is a little more tan on the body and a little less tan on the face. So naturally, we're gonna try to blend the body and the face together so you can choose the shades a little in between. But because I don't want Vanessa's face too tan, so I'm gonna choose the shade pretty much close to her face. And I'm blending out to the body you might find that the body a little too dark compared to the face but just because i didn't want to make her look too tan for foundation she have really gorgeous skin i don't use too much you see i use a few dots and i just blend it out again foundation concealer is also personal preference how much is how little is really up to you I want the skin feel like skin so I don't want to cake the skin up too much but again for camera we tend to use a little more than what you would use in normal life You can use the finger, the foundation brush, the sponge, it's all up to you. This foundation is medium to full coverage, luminous foundation. I keep pretty even complexion just from a light coverage, but if you want a heavier coverage, you can, you just build more and you have more tippling motion if you want a bit more fuller coverage. Like I said earlier, how much foundation and concealer is really personal preference. Some people love to show everything they want to wear a little bit. Some people prefer to wear more fuller coverage. You can do that with this foundation as well. Next, I'm going to use the concealer. The lighter shades I'm using here is mainly under the eye area. And the rest of I'm gonna use the, the concealer almost identical to the foundation shade just to pinpoint. Look up for me. As I mentioned already, I purposely chose the concealer under the eye a little brighter because I love when it's bright under the eye and all the high point area. And also a little bit right here, I think it does help to lift the eye as well you can use the brush or you can use the finger it's really up to you and then I use the just on the bridge area I give a little bit brighter concealer there and just around this area here. I'm just gonna do one side for you to see first. And then for the deeper concealer, I use a pinpoint brush and whatever you want to pinpoint to cover more, you can. also use that same concealer color just around the nose area to cover the rest of the rest nest that you didn't cover by the foundation or you lever it out if you use a sheer foundation I'm 
I'm going to do the same on the other side. The best way to blend everything together as well is that you can use a foundation brush with no product left. You just, you know, do like this. So all the pinpoint concealer and everything blend together or your sponge. You know, after some time you pinpoint concealer, you might see little dot here and there. So it's better just do like this. So you blend everything together. For contour, I'm not gonna use any contour product. I'm gonna use the NARS Laguna Bronzing Cream. The shade I'm using is number two. For Vanessa, I even use the number three, but we don't have it. So I use number two, so it's more softer contour. So you can see a little bit there. I just blend it out. I might go a little too low. And the best way to blend it out, you can use the foundation brush that you use and you just blend it out the edges. Pretty easy to fix. I purposely do that so I can show you guys how I would blend out when I do everything too low. And you just blend out the rest of them. And right here, And you blend out. A little bit on the jawline. This is such a beautiful formulation though. It's thicker, but it's actually really easy to blend. I'm doing the same. On the other side. So you can see the subtle contour just like this. For powder, I'm going to use the loose powder from a Chinese brand called Floresis. This is actually absolutely beautiful loose powder. You can use the brush. I love the sponge they have. I love the puff they have, I mean, and so I'm going to use that one. This is very, very sheer. It doesn't have a lot of deposit. They take out all the shine. So it's great for people who want to matte the skin, take the shine out without getting too much deposit. You can see that it's quite gorgeous. And I use this to matte the face a little bit. They also have beautiful pressed powder as well. I will show you later, but it's more to finish at the end. But this is nice. You can see it's really set the, the skin really nice without deposit too much pigment. You see that because we use a little lighter concealer in this area, it gives you more dimension on the face you know from the contour and then from the lighter concealer a little bit it's give a lot more dimension so it doesn't look just flat one color i'm going to use the laguna bronzer as well the press bronzer this one here i'm going to set where i did the cream bronzer earlier i already set with the powder but this one just bring back some of the cream bronzer that i did earlier Again, this is just my personal preference, how I do it. You don't have to use the second bronzer at all. But I think when you overlay cream and powder, it's always stay nicer, stay longer. You can see how gentle I apply a little bit at a time. You don't want to put too much and it's harder to blend. For eyebrow, I'm going to use two eyebrow products from a brand called Suku. Brow Pencil and the Marker and the Brow Frizz from Anastasia Beverly Hill. The Brow Pencil, I purposely use the lightest shade because I don't want to make the eyebrow too dark. And I like to keep the eyebrow full and I use the lighter eyebrow pencil to fill in where I want to fill in 
and the marker, I just create a few individual hair. You can see right here, I think I'm going to use a little gap there to fill in a little bit. And the way I do just back and forth, back and forth. And the same this area, a little more. You don't have to use all this product like I use. I personally like detailing the brown, so that's why I use the marker as well. But if you do on yourself, just a little pencil is good enough. So I just use a little marker and just fill in a few individual hair. I mean, this is just detailing. You don't have to do exactly the same way I do at all. And then you use little prior phrase, little like this. You see, I just only have a little dab and then I set the eyebrow. I'm gonna continue to do the same on the other side. So it's something like this. So it's still her natural eyebrow, but a little more enhanced. I know too many steps, but if you want to do effortless looking like this, you do need to take the time and the products. If you want to use one pencil and fill it in thick, you won't have this natural effect. For eyes, cheeks, and highlighter, I'm going to use this face palette, also from Floresis Beauty. And you can see they come in many different shades. I'm gonna use some of these shades for eyeshadow and these for highlighter and maybe this color for blush. But keep in mind, I'm gonna do more like a wash of everything. I'm not gonna do like really sculpted liner or shadow. So everything more like a wash, more blend out. I think it's, it's gonna look very beautiful that way. To start, I'm gonna use this shade right here. just mainly on the crease area. And this color palette is really beautiful texture. It's very pigmented, doesn't have a lot of fallout. You can see how I do, just mainly in that area. And the next step I'm going to do you just really drag it out a little bit more. Slowly, you just brush the shadow out. There are many different ways to use the palette, but I'm just gonna play with them. And I think that's, I'm gonna start. You see the way I do, just really brush it up. Look up for me, same color. I use on the low lash line. Again, outwards and upwards. Really lift it this way. Next, use the flatter brush, because this way you can deposit the color without go everywhere. And I just do mainly along the lash line here. You can see that the color is quite pigmented, but it doesn't have a lot of fallout. It deposits really nice on the skin. I think this is a great palette to have in the kit. And slowly, I brush it upward, outward, and upward as well.
and because this is a pointy more flat brush like this I can use that should make the lash line really deep and just deposit the color more next go back to your other brush that you use with this color here you just blend the edges out a little bit because I don't want to be really lifted and really sharp edge on the top because like sometimes it looks too harsh so you see I just blend out soft next I'm using another flat brush and this time I use the lighter color deposit on the inner part Look up again for me. Just make sure really in the corner there. Close again. I'm really just playing with this palette. So you can do any way you want. I'm just playing with different colors. So it's just the idea. And then use your finger with this golden color here. I think it's quite beautiful. You apply it in this area here. Go back to the big brush earlier, soften the edge it out. I'm doing the same on the other side. You can see that just a nice wash, you know, it's just go back like that. I think what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna use the light color right here. Just give a little highlight in the corner. Same on this side as well. Look up for me a little bit. The same brush, I use this light color here. A little bit on the brow bone area. As I mentioned earlier, all these was plain. I reached out to this brand. I saw them all over TikTok. So I asked them to send me some products. So that's why I'm playing with you guys today. Close again. You can keep the eye like this, curl the lashes, put some mascara and ready to go. But I'm gonna use a liner from Espoir. It's more like a taupey brown color, so it's not really dark. I just darkened the waterline a little bit. So it defined the eye even more. Very little bit. Look down for me. A bit on the upper waterline as well. Let's see. You can see that very subtle, but I think it's beautiful. Just define the eye shape with more. If you want more dramatic, you can use a deeper liner, but this color, it's just very soft. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Always curl your lashes. I know I say that every time. Even just a little pinch. I think it does make a big difference after you apply mascara. For mascara today, I'm going to use the Fantasy Mascara from One Side Beauty. This is lengthening, lifting, and smudge proof mascara. I do love this mascara that it does give great volume and lengthening without too much, too clumpy. Because sometimes any volume mascara, they tend to be too clumpy. And this is quite you know, separating and it lengthening is quite beautiful. Let's 
let's see. You can see a different one side. Look to the camera for me. I'm doing the same and I will apply a second coat. Go back to this color. I think I'm going to lift it out a little more. And same this shade, I'm going to drag it out even more. I will do the same on the other side. I'm going to use this shade right here. This you could use anywhere on the face, you know, as a blush, as a eyeshadow as well. Today I'm going to use as a blush. Remember, use a little bit at a time because the color is quite intense. And I'm going to do more like a nice wash all around. You can go stronger if you like to, but I do just a little bit. And I think this color, it looks quite intense like this, but if you do very soft, you see it looks gorgeous on pale skin as well. A little bit on the temple area. And using the smaller fluffy brush like this, it's more like a fluffy brush. I use this shade right here as a highlighter, a little bit on the cheekbone here, this way. The tip is the nose. Keep it bold. Maybe a little more blush. I'm doing the same on the other side. For lip, Vanessa have just gorgeous lip shape. I don't think we even need to use lip liner. I'm gonna go with the whole theme with the same uh, florist brand as well. They did send me lipstick as well and we love it. And I think I'm gonna use it as well because it go with the lips color. We're standing here choosing different color and I think there's no point, you know. I think the color go with this. So I'm using the lipstick as well. And I'm not gonna use lip liner. I like the edges look soft. I think this is a beautiful formulation. It's matte lipstick, but it's not too dry. And I don't want to be too painted on. And you can see that I do very little and just blend it out. This is such a gorgeous, gorgeous lip shade. And I'm going to use because I like the edge is very soft, so I'm going to use like a blending brush like this. I want to soften the edge even more. If you want more defined, you just use a lip liner. But I think for this look, I think it's great. Just have really soft edges. If someone have more a thinner lip shape, so maybe you use lip liner. But this one here, Vanessa have gorgeous lip shape. I think it's really nice to leave it soft like this. Let's see. To complete the look, I'm going to use a setting spray from our class. Close your eye for me. That's the final look, guys. I hope you enjoy the look. We just create more look between some colorful plus more neutral tone and mix together. I hope you enjoy the look. Thank you, Vanessa, so much for coming to the channel. I hope everyone subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumb up, and don't forget to follow everyone on Instagram as well. Thank you.